Well, I want to do a review on this uh, coffee grinder today. Uh, I got this about six months ago, and this gets used every week, if not multiple times a week, and I couldn't be happier with it. So I figured it's time to uh, to do a review on it, talk about it a little bit. I know there's plenty of people that drink coffee. There's plenty of people that live on coffee. <laughs> you wake up, you have it for breakfast. Um, you know, you have it throughout your day at work. You come home, you have a nice dinner, and then you have a nice cup of coffee to finish your day. Uh, obviously, it is uh, a huge uh, drink in America and, of course, all across the world. Um, a lot of you guys out there, and women, of course, you buy your coffee. You outsource it. You go to Starbucks or you go to McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts or wherever you're, you know, wherever you're getting your coffee, and you're paying a lot for it. And it just makes sense to make it at home. And there's, there's no shame in going to get a quick cup of coffee somewhere you really like, but it is cheaper than you think um, to make it at home, and you can make it just as good, if not a hundred times better. And I learned this many years ago. But uh, anyway, uh, I got this grinder. I'll give you the backstory. Like I said, about six months ago, I wanted to start using grinds in my Keurig. I love the Keurig. It's an awesome machine. Those K-cups are expensive. And even when they go on sale, they're still super expensive. Um, I mean, of course, you're drinking coffee all the time. It adds up. So what I did was I ended up getting uh, the cheap filters for it so I can use grinds in there. Works great. Uh, so then I started buying uh, pre-ground coffee, and it just didn't taste as good as some of the other blends that I've gotten from them. And I wanted to uh, lean more towards a better quality coffee, but I wanted to keep it at the same price or cheaper. So ultimately, I decided to buy you know better quality coffee in the whole uh, bean form, right? Buying uh, whole beans is cheaper than buying pre-ground coffee. You're just taking that one step out of the equation. The company's not grinding it for you, therefore it's a little bit cheaper. So you can get a better quality coffee, and I can tell the difference between freshly ground good coffee and just cheap coffee because I drink it black. I drink lots of coffee, but I don't always drink the same thing. Like every one of my hobbies, I love the variety. I love trying new things, having new experiences. So drinking coffee black, it's not masked with tons of sugar and cream or milk. So you can taste the difference between good, fresh ground, quality coffee and just crap coffee. So anyway, I wanted to get a good grinder so that I could, uh, you know, obviously grind it fresh for my machines. And I also have a uh, espresso machine and I wanted something that's going to have the versatility of grinding, you know, somewhat coarse and also uh, extra fine. This is a uh, Jura Capresso Infinity Burr Grinder. Um, I know the company is really good. I've heard a lot of stuff from them. I haven't had any of their products personally, so I did a lot of research on it. This is kind of a mid-grade grinder. It's about 100 bucks. Uh, I know you can get it for $99.99 at wholelattelove.com. That's where I got this one from. Uh, I love that company. I, I've gotten multiple things from them. If you have any kind of coffee needs, they're the place to go. Uh, just really, really helpful people too. I talked to customer service before. Great prices and above all, the variety. They have everything there from simple and affordable all the way up to you know prosumer stuff and professional stuff for baristas and coffee shops and stuff like that. But uh, actually they have their own YouTube channel and I want you guys to check it out if you're into your coffee. You're missing out if you're not subscribed to them. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box to it. Very entertaining but I, very educational. I learned lots of stuff about coffee watching their channel. But anyway, after doing a bunch of research, this is the machine that fit my bill. Like I said, uh, under 100 bucks. Um, 16 settings is enough versatility for what I'm using it for. Very easy to use. There's basically just like an egg timer on the front, and it grinds coffee per duration of time. Okay. I took the beans out here just so I can show you this, how the hopper works. The hopper holds 8.8 .8 ounces of beans. There's a dot on the front. This dot dictates what setting you're in. All right. Now on the right side of the machine, you can see... There's a white dot here, and then of course all your settings in the front. What you want to do to put the hopper on, so it's easy to take off for cleaning, of course you can get into there. Um, this does use conical burrs, okay, which is, is a better system. Uh, the best thing you can have really, I think, is ceramic burrs, but I'm not going to go into too much detail. You can find all that, all that information out on their site. But basically, um, you put that dot to the right, you'll feel the hopper kind of drop down. If you put it in the wrong position, it's going to be sitting up. It's not going to feel right, it's not going to fit. You'll feel it kind of drop down just like that, and then you're going to rotate it, and you'll see that dot will be in front of one of these settings. If I can zoom in, you can see this better. Like I said, there's 16 settings. On the right-hand side, there's four different core settings, four medium, four fine, and then four extra fine. This is a lot of versatility. You'd want something super extra fine for your espresso shots. Um, something I will mention is that this does make grinds fine enough for good espresso. There's a couple machines out there, and I learned this through researching and watching YouTube videos and stuff. 
and uh, there's a couple machines that they're extra fine is still a little too coarse to pull really good quality shots okay of espresso course is not a big deal um, if you're using something like a, uh, a French press you want you know kind of chunky beans really extra coarse you'll get that from this machine too so it is enough versatility again for under 100 bucks this is probably the best option or the best route you can go for multiple applications um, I usually leave it on the middle of medium for my Keurig machine and that seems, seems to be pretty good for me uh, so let me show you how it works it's really simple let me back this up a little bit all right if I put this back farther you can see the bottom here this is a container that the grinds fall into this holds four ounces of ground coffee um, this machine does have a hundred watt motor and it has a, a little bit of a slower grinding speed which is really really good for the coffee your enemy while you're grinding is heat of course you need heat in the beans to make coffee but when you're grinding the coffee you don't want heat you don't want to burn the beans it will make the coffee very bitter it'll ruin the flavor so to use this it's real simple just take the top off the hopper so pour the beans in, doesn't matter if you have a little handful, all the way up to the full 8.8 .8 ounces. I have filled this up, um, works just fine, doesn't matter what the, you know, how many beans are in there. Put the top back on, and then we're just going to rotate this dial. Now it's going to be a little bit noisy, so I'm not going to talk during this process, but basically there's numbers from 1 to 10, and the higher the number, the longer duration. Okay, this is going to work just like an egg timer, it's going to go click, 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 all the way down to the bottom, and that'll dictate how much coffee you're going to get out of this. Now, if you're grinding, and let's say, uh, you know, I have enough coffee, but it's still going, at any point in time, you can rotate this hopper to this, like, dislodging position, okay, and it'll shut off the grinder. The egg timer will continue, and I'll give you an example of this in a second. The egg timer will continue until it's at zero, but it'll stop the grinding, so you don't grind too much coffee. All right, so let's put this back on. Actually, you know what? Let me show you extra fine first. Let me give you a example to grind. So I have it on the uh, the finest setting right now. We're going to put this to two or three. And it's done. So that's simple. On the bottom, there's two little lips on the outside of this container. Container slides out, and there's our grinds. All right, so I'm going to put this container back in. I'm going to change the setting now to extra coarse to show you what that looks like. And again, I'll put it on in between two and three. Okay. So you can see, obviously, the coarse the grind, the faster it's going to go through the coffee. This would be good, again, for your French press. I would say it's still a little bit too big for uh, any kind of drip coffee. Um, what I want to do now, there's not a lot of beans left, so let's just say I have it on fine, right around here. And I turn it on, but I realize I don't need it, or I want to stop the machine. I'm just going to give a quick example of that. That's it. All I did was rotate this dot, again, to this position here. It stops grinding immediately. Okay, and the egg timer will continue until it hits zero. All right, it's really, really easy to use. It's very straightforward. It's a really good quality machine. Like I said, I've been using the heck out of it for, for six months. It's working just as good as the day I got it. Um, the 16 grind settings, again, enough versatility for me. There's machines that have more. I've seen machines up to like 30 something uh, settings. That's when you're really, really fine tuning your coffee. Um, you're going to pay an extra price for that. Okay, obviously, as you know, the, the quality goes up and up and up, and the options go up and up, so does the price. So, I mean, I think this is the best unit for my needs. Again, this is perfect for uh, espresso as well as for my drip coffee for my Keurig. I just love it. It's a really, really good machine and worth every single penny. So if you guys are in the market for a decent grinder, don't skimp out. A hundred bucks is not bad for this. You can, again, three, four, five hundred dollars for grinders and up for really good quality ones. You can use a twenty, thirty dollar grinder. There's nothing wrong with that. But I have found that this is really, really different. I have used some of the cheap ones before, and to me, they burn the, the beans. The, the grinding is a little bit too fast. I don't know what it is about them, but just the quality isn't there. So, Anyway, that's it for this one. Stay tuned for future coffee videos. Love to hear all your comments and questions down below. Take it easy, guys.